We can't demand of the Ukrainian government to fight the oligarchs, to deal with the oligarchs, to take them, you know, to separate them from business and politics, to reduce their influence, and then we take their own money. We, sh- we, should, we should not be hypocritical about, about this, especially when we're dealing with oligarchs such as Firtash and his so-called gas lobby. This week, um, the Ukra- uh, members of the Ukrainian parliament released the minutes of the National Security and Defense Council meeting that took place at the end of February 2014, when Russia was just intervening and then, of course, annexed the Crimea. And, and it showed to what extent the Yanukovych regime was not only a, a mafia regime in terms of what it was stealing, but it was also a treasonous uh, regime in terms of it allowed the Russian intelligence services to take over the security service of Ukraine and Ukrainian military intelligence, and also allowed for the the complete destruction of the Ukrainian military. The minutes showed that only 5,000 Ukrainian troops were available for the Ukrainian government to use at the end of February 2014. The Ukrainian military were being destroyed. Who was in power when this was happening? Girtash. Lovochkin, Firtash and Akhmetov were two of the three, together with Alexander Yanukovych, the president's son, were the three who received the biggest uh, financial favors under Yanukovych. And we're taking money for a Holodomor monument from this man? Lovochkin, Sergei Lovochkin, he's been around for a long time. He was a senior advisor to the Kuchma presidency, and then he became the chief of staff under Viktor Yanukovych from 2010 all the way through to the end of January 2014. So he only skipped a month. So he was in charge of Yanukovych's presidential detail for all of his time except one month. So I think that if Yanukovych was treasonous, and involved in massive corruption and in, and in destroying the Ukrainian security forces. I don't, either Lovachkin was a very poor chief of staff and didn't know anything about this, or he knew everything about this. If, he, if Yanukovych is guilty of betrayal and treason, then so is Lovachkin. But Lovachkin, of course, is free. Yanukovych is, a, is an exile in Russia, but Lovachkin is in the Ukrainian parliament. And he's obviously had very good uh, relations with the current Ukrainian president because they did a deal with him and Firtash in mid-March of 2014 in Vienna. So the very people who uh, committed treason against Ukraine have been led off by the current authorities. Um, and so um, no wonder that we can't really um, you know, appreciate what's going on in Ukraine. We shouldn't apologize for what's taking place in Ukraine, um, which sometimes comes across in some of the material written by uh, Ukrainian Canadians like Mikh- Mikhail Vinitsky, who works in Kiev, um, and Alexander Motto, who writes from, from the US. They write very good stuff. They say very good stuff, but sometimes they have to accept that their, their, their statements and their articles and their comments come across as being too apologetic about the current authorities in power in Ukraine.